Are you ready? I'm for... ready, baby. I, I buckled my seat and everything. <laughs> Everybody, adjust your seats and get ready for the most fun ride you will ever have. Do I have anything behind me? I have no idea. <laughs> How do I get out? This way? Yeah, just go out this way, turn left, and then take I-20 East. Look at you, baby, successfully backed up. Look, you 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 navigated the parking lot like a freaking champion. Whatever. <laughs> it's almost like I know how to drive. Wait, this is like hard. What are you talking about? I swear, this is like not turning. Boy, that make me sweat. <laughs> turn right, then turn left onto the ramp. Why is there a battery in there? Oh, there's a battery in there. That's weird. Do I need to pull over? Yeah, maybe. Okay, what are we doing? Well, so apparently our alternator has failed. See how hard it feels? Yeah, power steering has gone out because the alternator is not charging. So, we're going to backtrack a little to auto zone? To an auto zone, hopefully we can make it. Turn right onto State Highway 254 loop, then turn left. That's so weird. Hopefully. Dang. Now the van is overheating and we literally haven't even drove that much. We're seven minutes away. We drove a minute. I was reading online that it might could be the belt and Chase just literally check and it is the belt. It like literally is destroyed. I don't know how it happened, but it broke in pieces. Oh, I hope we can find it at AutoZone, but we're still so far, like six miles away and we're overheating on the way. Hmm. <sighs> The serpentine belt shredded. That how? Is, how in the heck how? did that happen? No sounds, no squeals, no squeaks, no anything. It's uh. like destroyed. Yeah, there's more under, under there. Do you see these? This is literally a belt, and it's destroyed. We need to make it to Dallas to get milk for Isla because she literally doesn't have much. She probably has a couple of bottles left. Yeah, hey, I, I was just curious. Um, I'm in a, a, a converted van, like a Mercedes Sprinter van and um, just noticed that my serpentine belt has shredded and uh, we're like a mile down the road, maybe less than that from you guys. Do you all do serpentine belt repairs on, on sprinter vans? Okay, thank you. Okay, and, and I, I, like I said, I'm like a mile down the road and it is drivable right now, short distances at a time. I could even make it over there, but I was just curious if, if it was possible to do the repair. Okay, got it. Okay. <clears throat> what do they say? They said they could definitely get us in tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go in and talk to them. Okay. See. What are we gonna do about the meal? Do she have enough for today? I have no idea. And if you guys remember, we said that we needed to drive to go and pick up some formula for Isla because she's almost out. So I think she does have enough for tonight, but I don't know how long it will take these people to fix the van tomorrow. So Chase decided to just ride the bike. We have a Walmart like about eight miles from here. Thank God we have a second form of vehicle because that's truly gonna save our lives. It's like 83 degrees in here and of course we cannot turn on the van we just have the fans on right now isla is just like in her diaper and she's pretty comfortable she's drinking like cold bottles from the fridge 
so at least she's keeping herself hydrated and cooler but I can tell it's pretty hot and I'm so stressed right now I feel like it's just crazy it's just crazy that this is happening right now but I just have to see the positive side and see that we are all okay it's something fixable something they happen thankfully right next to a place where they can fix it tomorrow we also have the the bikes so chase was able to ride and hopefully get some stuff for us So the backpack is stuffed. It's so heavy. But the good news is when faced with an obstacle, which there are many in life, God always creates a solution. You have just got to be willing to find it. This is our current situation. Sleepy baby. Chase is working. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to move this little girl so I can go and make us some sandwiches because it's all we have to eat. a very hot night last night we're all awake I think you can tell from my face I think I'm getting what Chase had or still has I guess and it was super hot I didn't think it was hot I just felt feverish and sweaty all night I was cold because it was hot I was cold but sweaty but we are ready this morning to hopefully get the van fixed they open this place at 8 in the morning, so hopefully we get in first thing and they have the part and they get us in on the road for no an arm and a leg. We will see how that goes. We will keep you posted. Good morning, beautiful people on the other side of the internet. <clears throat> so I just went outside and talked to one of the techs who, this is very promising. This is also just a very quick glance. He asked me if I could pop the hood. He saw all the shreds from the serpentine belt and he said, uh, oh, that should be easy. That should be, that should, that's no problem. Of course, they're gonna have to inspect all the tensioners and pulleys and the alternator because there's a bearing on it that could also get locked up, a pulley on it that could get locked up. So there are a bunch of things to, to still check, but at first glance, he assumed it was gonna be easy. We'll see, fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, finger cr fingers crossed this is quick because Boo Boo's getting sick now. All right, so second look, um, the belt came out looking like spaghetti. Literally, it was thin little noodle likes. And the guy said that in all of his time, he's never seen a belt. He said 15 years. In 15 years, he's never seen a belt do that. And the strangest thing of all is all of the pulleys and the alternator are rotating freely, that they're not locked up, which is good news. So he thinks that maybe a piece of it started to fray and then got caught up in something and it just spun itself off. So the other belt he said looked okay, but I suggested if we can, we replace both of them because there's a little spot on one that I can't tell if it's the other part of the old belt or if it's the part of this belt ready to go as well. So, so this is what the serpentine belt looked like. This is a small section of it. The rest of it 
really just looked like a big old bowl of spag uh, spaghetti noodles. The only issue that we're running into right now is they had to order both belts. They had neither of them here. So one will show up at 2 p.m. The other will show up at 4. This facility closes at 5. So that means we are likely spending another night here. They have let us know that today is the hottest day that they've had uh, all year, um, that it may get up to 88. So if that's the case, uh, they invited us into their air conditioned facility. But right now it's nice and cool in here and I put up some window covers. So hopefully we can keep it cooler for longer um, so we can stay inside our own place and eat and pee and poo when we, when we need to and change little Wiggum Woo. How you feeling? I'm tired, I feel sick, but I'm happy that things are working out. We might sleep here tonight. We might not, but at least we have milk. <laughs> what are you doing, Willow? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello! All we need is a place to be and a few good friends for some company. If you'd like to stay, you don't have to leave. We'll leave the lights on and the door unlocked. If you drop on by, you don't have to knock. We're happy to share whatever we've got. I believe it's almost two o'clock and the first part, I mean the first belt should be here soon. Isla and I were able to take a little nap. I was thinking it's getting hotter. I believe it's not even yet the hottest that it's going to get today. But we were prepared without knowing it because we brought with us our tiny little fan. So this is our setup fan, heating the baby. She's trying to get some work done. And me, trying to just stay hydrated. Thank God for ice too. It's finally cooling down in here, so Chase decided to open the door so we get some cool breeze coming in. He just head out to the store. Well, when I say the store, I mean the gas station that is right across the road with his little backpack. He's such a good dad and husband. He just went to get some drinks and snacks and I don't know. We're tired of being inside the van all day. Hopefully he finds some snacks and drinks for us. Isla is such a good girl. Today was kind of hot. We had a fan running and then Chase came up with the idea of like wetting her burp cloth in the cold water and just like putting, her, putting it over her. And she stayed literally super cool all day long so very hot Papa me llamo I look so gossipy now she literally looks away oh look so changing her is so hard now and I cannot leave her alone anywhere because she's scary rolling she's a rolly rolly poly oli Another thing that Chase got at the gas station that I didn't mention, a pregnancy test. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm um, four days late. We have five months old. We live in a van and I'm about to take another pregnancy test. Oh my God. My family and your family are gonna think we're freaking insane. I don't know. I think it's gonna be negative. What do you think? I think with the way things are going this trip, <clears throat> it's gonna be positive. And it's <laughs> it's gonna be positive, and that's gonna be the universe's way of telling us maybe we need to slow down a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Let me take this thing. 
It says results five days sooner. Just pro tip, Chase. Don't pull, don't pull the blue thing. Okay. I'm so nervous. I can't even open the package. <laughs> I always suspect they're playing with the wall. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Five seconds, pee on it. Three minutes. Oh my god, we're in bed. Isla, are you gonna be a big sister? <coughs> She's yeah, better damn not be. Uh, doesn't it have to be up? I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, I just covered it up. So do three. I <laughs> lost my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might find out on the side of the road. <laughs> in a in a in a truck. Uh, it's a truck service center in Texas. We should sit right here. Two seconds, I swear, I feel like I'm, uh, like I have a heart attack. Can wait. <gasps> I know, I don't know. I'm not gonna look at it, I swear. I'm All gonna right. wait for you. All right, come on, let's get over here. Let's see. <laughs> Fine. Final guest. I don't know. <laughs> I still think yes. You think yeah, yes? Yeah, I think yes. Nice. So I think they just finished up. I'm backing up so I can go in to pay. Uh, we have power steering back. No lights are on the dash. Um, everything seems good so far. I really like this guy. Everyone here has been, has so been nice. phenomenal. We were scared because of the reviews, but I truly think that everybody has been very nice. And yep. they were quick. Today. They were, yeah, they were very quick. All right, I'll be back. Okay, bye. <clears throat> Got a new subscriber. How, how much was it? It was four hundred dollars, so not bad, truthfully. I don't think so. No, that wasn't bad at all. I I was fully expecting something else, but that was great. And then I sparked up a conversation with Braxton, our mechanic, and uh, he said that he found some other things that were loose while he was repairing it, like bolts to the water pump. So he tightened all of those up for nice. me. Uh, gave us this belt just in case he said you never know you get pinched down the road and something like this may get you another hundred couple hundred miles so he gave us that back uh, he asked if we make videos or something like that so I was telling him about it so Braxton I saw you subscribe uh, literally man get that phone out get that GoPro out and and start recording the day man because people who are not handy and people who are handy would really love to see the things that you're doing day in and day out so um, I, for one, would have loved to have like a bird's eye view of everything that we were doing, but I just wanted to stay out of the way. So, Freddy's Garage, thank you. One, for letting us live here for two days. Two, for offering us water and making sure w that we had supplies, knowing that we had a baby. Um, and then for three, uh, truly not breaking the bank on something that we just rolled in and you all made a way to, to, to make it happen for us very quickly. So, thank you. You probably can tell we are not in the van. And that's because after being stuck in the mechanics parking lot for two days, we all 
stink. Yeah, it was a stressful situation that we had to get out from underneath us. <coughs> so I'm glad that it happened. And I'm glad that it happened the way that it did. <coughs> but we really decided that we needed a shower. <laughs> Even Isla looks so stinky. Just smells stinky too. So tonight we're all showering. We are all taking sleeps. Being able to sleep. Hopefully. Did you listen? Did you hear that? We are all sleeping all night long. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> She farted. <laughs> You're so stinky, girl. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We'll see you in the morning. We're six hours away from Tennessee. That's negative. That's negative. You're not pregnant. I think. Maybe I didn't pee nothing in. Oh, she's sad. I really thought it was going to be positive. Yeah, that was going to be positive, too. Well, <clears throat> I hate that there was only one. Maybe tomorrow could also be that it's expired. Is it expired? I have no idea. Probably. <laughs> That's probably why your coconut water tastes weird. <laughs> There's not much that looks fresh in the DK.